Uh, what about China-Russia ties? Let's try and find out from Professor Feng Xiaolei, Director of the Center for Russian Studies at the East China Normal University in Shanghai. Thanks very much, Professor Feng, for speaking with us here on CCTV okay. News. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure if there was a question asked to the Russian president about relations with China, but where do they stand right now, China-Russia relations, and what's the prospect for the future? Okay, uh, thank you for your question. I think the high level of the relationship between Russia and China uh, during this year, I think, could still be very stable and successful. Uh, that is uh, not mean uh, there are no any problem. But uh, anyway, I think, for example, two months ago, when I uh, when I met with Vladimir Vladimir Putin in Moscow, uh, I had raised question to him. Well, while East Asia's, uh, for example, geopolitical uh, situation became more sensitive, and uh, secondly, though the increasing uh, uh, situation uh, 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 still maintaining in East Asia, but speed of economic uh, rise uh, in, uh, is declining. How is your assessment about East Asia's situation? Uh, his answer is very interesting. He said that uh, maybe the East, East Asia situation you mentioned mainly is about China, he said. Uh, mm -hmm. About the declining uh, of China's economic development speed, he said, I didn't think that is bad things. He said the Chinese experts are always very smart. This is a Chinese, a Chinese expert deliberated, intended, uh, a choice. Uh, they they like to do some negotiation in this area, in economic uh, uh, area. So uh, Russia, by that kind of understanding, he said, the Russia side will strongly uh, support and promote the bilateral economic and the political relations go ahead. And very quickly, but, Professor yeah. Fung, we have mm -hmm. a very interesting development this past week here in Northeast Asia. You've got a new prime minister-elect in Japan. You've got a new president-elect in South Korea. And just a few weeks back, we had a new leadership installed here uh, in Beijing. Mm -hmm. Where does Northeast Asia go from here? And what about Russia's own relations with these three big Asian economies? Of course, they have a long-standing and pending territorial dispute with Japan. Okay, I think that when both AB and Park came in power, I think the East, Northeast Asia situation uh, will have some changes, but still very complicated. Long time has been saying that no matter uh, who will be come in power, for example, in the uh, Korean Peninsula, sunlight uh, uh, will be happen to to Peninsula again. I didn't know what will be happen, but anyway, uh, some changes will be happen to, to Peninsula, I think. Now, secondly, 